failed negotiation after 22 meetings since March. The since March, as I said before, even months before the summer break, they've already been negotiating. They've been fighting in a different battlefield, trying to make sure that the conditions that the students are, are, are being taught at are, um, are I guess, positive or, or is better. You know, it's it's comparable to the amount of sacrifices that the teachers are making to reach, you know, to, to, to teach the youth. Union claims Columbus schools are in a state of disrepair from missing ceiling tiles to lead paint to water leaks. We will continue fighting. In 2022, they have to deal with that. They have to deal with the, the consequences of a crumbling infrastructure, the lack of investment in our, our education system, right? And what are the arguments against that? We're going to see the arguments against that, but the arguments currently, just to give you a snapshot, is like, they're asking for too much. They should be okay with the conditions that they work in. You've seen it for yourself. Most of these fucking schools, I'm, I swore. Well, <laughs> I swore, I swore. Okay, all right, whatever. I was just so passionate about this too, so I, I, I let out a swear word. My bad. Uh, most of these freaking conditions are just abhorrent, horrible. Third world, third world like conditions, right? And you expect your kids, not, you expect these teachers to show up and not only, and your kids to be showing up in these conditions. Falling ceiling tiles, that's a that's a hazard for any student that's walking across the hallway and all of a sudden being taken out. Uh, lead paint, we already seen research and study what happens to the growth and development of the uh, youth when, when they're introduced to lead paint. Um, or, uh, and also, uh, leaky roofs. That just means that the infrastructure is on a, is a the, the building is a ticking time bomb right it, it's it's bound to collapse if nothing all, all these uh these repairs are not done we continue until we have safe properly maintained and fully resourced schools in every neighborhood the school board says it's committed to addressing those issues but insists they can only be solved with more taxpayer dollars not a contract with teachers what goes in the contract doesn't actually solve that problem. As the unresolved negotiations force a virtual start to the school year, the teachers union is calling on families to honor the picket line by boycotting. So you, you see how like, uh, if, if you were to ask most Americans, hey, your kids, the, the schools that they go to, most public school kids, the schools that they go to is falling apart. We're gonna need like a 1% more tax increase to make sure we can um, rebuild the infrastructure and maintain it, right? Are you willing to do so? Have a referendum? Well, yeah, hell yeah. Like most people are uh, well in mind to actually say, yeah, if you need more of my tax dollars for that, it, 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 as long as my kids are going and being taught in a safe environment, then do so. A lot of people will agree to that, right? But now with the framing of everything that's beneficial to the uh, American people being socialism or communism, Everyone else is now taking it back and saying, oh, my God, here, here it goes. It's just socialism. More and more to take redistributing my wealth to help kids out. This is how terrible. This is the line of reasoning most people in this country have been because they've been conservatively indoctrinated into the, the, the BS. Remote class. We're starting off how we did with COVID. The conflict has put students like 16-year-old Inaya Broom, a senior at Eastmore Academy High School, in a tough position. She told us she'd rather be in person, but supports the strike. We start off school with no air, no heat. It's embarrassing compared to these other school districts. Our school has been the same for like 50 years. You're laughing. <laughs> because my grandma went to the school and she said the same thing. Like, why does it look exactly the same? Her mother agrees, but worries about how this. Think about that. Our previous generations saw this, right? Saw this. And nothing changed. Nothing changed. Nothing. Nothing changed. Your grandma walks into the school and be like, whoa, this is the same spot that I used to. That shouldn't be a thing. The school, sh the school system should be evolving. The building should be evolving, uh, evolving to meet cultural and technological demand, right? To meet the ever more uh, increase. Uh... Oh, God, I will have a word and just like slipped away from me. What the hell? Incre uh, increase of man forget it <laughs> disruption and more remote class could oh, take a gosh. toll on some students i stand by the teachers but this being the beginning of the school year i think was just terrible for the kids 
And you can hear a lot of supporters honking uh, for this ongoing strike. As it continues, the district has set up 25 running sides for students to pick up free meals. Meanwhile, the teachers union and school board head back to the bargaining table this afternoon. And that was day one of the, the teachers strike. You know, that was day one of what's going on. And I, I can't believe I lose it. See, this is why we need to, uh, 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 what you call it? <laughs> See, like, I, I remember forgetting my words at this time. This is why we need to not only pump more money into the paychecks of our educators, but also into the infrastructure of it. So that was what's going on in Columbus, Ohio. And that was a couple, I think it was a couple weeks back, right? Let's see, a couple days ago? That was about 24th of August. Uh, the day, the first day of the strike. We were on the 31st. I think the, the, the strike has finished and they reached negotiation, but we shall see. We shall see what's going to go on there. All right. So this is not only 